Good afternoon. Yeah, welcome to our Thursday Live. I have so many flashbacks as I had to get Maestro out of the house, ask the kids to be, to be quiet in their rooms of more than a year back this time. This is when this journey started. And I think it was mainly for my own sanity. And then I realized I actually can't go a day without dirty fingers and hands. Um, it's lovely to be back. We've had quite a journey from the last time we could be live to now. It's not that we didn't want to be here. We've been hectically busy finalizing our book. I cannot wait to share that with you. It's something that is filled with inspiration, that's filled with beauty, and that's filled with the authenticity of Choco, making a change, making a difference, and share the story with everyone. We will have our book ready by December. Um, it's going to the printers on the 4th and 5th of October. So a lot of excitement um, that we are almost ready to share with you. And then we, let's just find out if the sound is a problem. We have winds in Gauteng, hectic winds. Just let us know if there's a sound problem. All good. Okay. If there's a sound problem, if you can't hear us, let us know so that we can quickly see what the issue is. Today we are going to share, I think I feel so rusted because I haven't been here for a while, and that's why we decided to share a rust platina effect with you. And before this live session started, I was proofreading Am's Rose Gold on my computer, so this is just a sign that you are going to enjoy. I have three pots in front of me. I'm going to share step by step what you will need for each step. The reason I have three pots is just because paint takes time to dry and with a live session we don't always have time to, to wait for the paint to dry. So on our pot, this is a normal brown pot. Um, there's nothing special to it. It's actually not beautiful, but we are going to give it a second chance on life. We first very important step with Choco is to make sure that your surface is grease free, dust free and um, clean. Choco is a water based paint and for Choco to adhere to your surface, the surface needs to be clean. We recommend to use lacquer thinners, um, not sugar soap, not turpentine, not sugar soap and lacquer thinners. There's a chemical reaction when you combine different cleaning detergents with each other. Just make sure to clean your surface properly. Wash your surface off with lacquer thinners. Important is to follow the, the guide, guidelines and the safety tips with the thinners, wear your gloves, make sure there's ventilation in the space. But what it does, it etches the surface, it cleans the surface so that your cook can adhere. After you have cleaned well with the lacquer thinners, allow the a drying time for the thinners. 40 minutes is the guidance we give, but depending on weather, if it's very cold, humid, wet um, temperatures and weather, you will have to maybe wait longer. A rough outline is 40 minutes. My next step, after I have cleaned my surface well with lacquer thinners and allowed a 40 minute drying time, I'm going to use a clean paintbrush and the first base coat I'm painting for my patina effect is matte black. So no water needed to be added to your paint. I dip my brush in my matte black and I paint a nice even base coat. Always make sure when you paint that you work neatly. Paint even coats. So I just paint an even coat on my clean surface with matte black. Now the paint colors we are going to work with today, the first color is a metallic. It's Anne's Rose Gold. Choco is focused on job creation and empowerment and Anne's Rose Gold is named after Amanda in the factory. 
This is the lady that does the invoicing. She sometimes even answer the phones, help clients. And she initially started as a cleaning lady in our company. She is completely computer literate and a true, a true angel in the team. So this is my first coat and no need to paint a second coat unless you want to, but this will be perfectly fine as a first basic base coat. The reason why we recommend to paint a base coat in either matte black or share of stone when working with metallics is because the metallic composition, the chalk or metallic paints composition differ from normal chalk or colors. To make up a metallic paint that is still water-based, so the chalk or metallic colors are water-based, eco-friendly, non-toxic. So it's a special formulation to make up a water-based metallic paint. It consists of true metallic particles, small metallic particles that make up the color. So you will see that your metallic colors come with a stirring stick. You need to stir it well, even during use. And the composition, the um, consistency differs from other choco colors due to the composition. Okay, I have now waited 40 minutes for my matte black to dry. You will see this is the one I've just painted, but on the other side, I have one that has been painted prior to the session. So I allowed my matte black to dry for at least 40 minutes. Once again, weather does play a role. So if it's wet, humid, cold conditions, allow for your paint to dry longer. You will feel it's dry, no paint comes off when I touch it, and then you know the paint is ready for your next coat of Am's Rose Gold. So I'm dipping a 38 millimeter enzyme brush, Hamilton's enzyme brush, into my Am's Rose Gold. And this is Am's Rose Gold so that I can just show. I'm going to paint on my dry matte black surface my first coat. We want to create that true patina rusted effect. And this is the second step to accomplish that look. So I make sure I paint everywhere, paint evenly, stir while I'm busy using the metallic color. We have three metallics, silver, Charm Silver is the one, the other one, and then Alice Gold is the gold. Very important, metallic tips. You can mix different metallic colors with each other. Something that's really beautiful to create a soft rose gold effect is if you mix Charm Silver with your Am's Rose Gold. Then you get that soft pink rose gold effect. If you want to mute the Alice Gold, it is a bright gold, but it's also um, the pigment that we import from Germany. You can mute it with Charm Silver, so it's not as bright and as yeah, as, um, as yellow. So mute metallics, mix metallics with each other if you want to create different tones of metallic colors, but not normal choco colors with metallic colors. No mixing of normal choco colors with metallic colors. So I paint a very even first base coat of Am's Rose Gold on top of my matte black. Now I am working on a metal surface. You can do this technique on a furniture piece, a varnished furniture piece. Make sure your varnish is older than six months. Clean well with lacquer thinners. We all love our furniture polishes on varnished surfaces. So your surface needs to be grease free, oil free and follow the cleaning steps as explained in the beginning of, of this session. So my first coat is on, and now I will allow 
a 40 minute drying time again, unless the weather conditions are wet, cold, humid, you will wait longer. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. So here I have a pot that has been painted already in two coats. So important, wait in between coats, paint your second coat, and then important again is to wait. Next, we are going to start with the fun. So let me explain the steps and also the products that you will need for the next step. So we are going to need Chalk or Stencil of Paris. This is actually a product that we use for stenciling. I'm just going to open the bra because we have harsh winds um, so that the sound is not interrupting us. I'm back. Okay, so first of all, stencil of Paris. We are not going to stencil, but I'll show you how to create detail, texture on a surface with it. Then the three chalk or colors we will be using is Nao's New, Elias's Epic, and then the color that's named after me, Nade. We also will be using a paint tray or anything you can scoop some stencil of Paris paste into. We are going to use a palette knife. Oh, this can be a, a normal um, butter knife just to mix stencil of Paris with some, some paint colors. And then I have used stencil brushes. I have an artist brush and I have a paint brush. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix stencil of Paris, more or less 10 milliliters. You won't need more. Very important, make sure you clean the edge of your stencil of Paris jar and just seal it so that no air gets, um, can get inside your jar because that will dry it out. So more or less 10 milliliters um, of stencil of Paris, two scoops of that. So I put it apart from each other so that they don't mix. Close my jar. And now I'm going to add to my first mixture, I'm going to add some nade. So in my paste over there, I'm going to add some nade. And in the other blob of Sensel of Paris, I'm going to add Elias's Epic. So in there, some nade and more or less the same quantity as the stencil of Paris, more or less 10 milliliters, there aren't any rules. We are busy creating something creative. So no rules, no strings attached, just enjoy the transition process. And I'm repeating myself, but this is absolutely something that will look so beautiful on a furniture piece. So there's some nade over there. Some Elias is epic over here. And now I mix my paint and paste together. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to create some texture on my surface. So there's some Elias is epic. Mix it through. Even those areas where there's only paint. We are going to leave it as is because we're only going to need that. And this might be too much, but if you put it back in an airtight container, you can later use it again. Or even in something like a Ziploc bag, you can store your mixed stencil of Paris if you want to use it again. And then you just squeeze out any air before you close the Ziploc. Um, then you don't need to throw anything away. Okay, so there's my nade, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. There's my nade, and my Elias is epic, and my damp cloth is something I can't work without. 
if you want to wipe away anything, change anything. Um, this can be an old, an old rag, old t-shirt, cheesecloth, mutton cloth, old cloth. Okay, so I have that. I squeezed out excess water so it's nice and damp. And now the fun is going to start. I am going to dip my paintbrush. Let me take a smaller one, a 38 millimeter. Just a normal fiber brush. This is a creative session, so you don't need specific brushes because we are going to be playful and create a texture and technique on the surface. I'm dipping the edges of my brush in some nade. I'm going to paint this on small sections at a time. This is called wet distressing. So small sections at a time on my dry AMS rose gold surface. I take my damp microfiber cloth. I roll it like a ball in the palm of my hand, fold away any um, hems so that those frills and fluff don't get to your surface. And now very gently, I wipe away. There's a question, can you paint brass? Yes, you can. We all love to clean our brass items with things like Brasso or a cleaning agent. Make sure you follow the same steps as I have explained here. And first clean your brass properly with lacquer thinners. Wash it off more than once to get rid of, of that cleaning um, agent that you clean brass with. Okay, so I, paint on and wipe off and for many this will be sufficient and they will stop here and don't want to proceed and that's up to you you will also maybe find a way that's easier for you just see me as inspiration nothing I say um, unless the cleaning part and the waiting between coats but when it comes to techniques nothing I say is cast in stone you can follow your own head, okay? See me as inspiration to just um, in, in light. Is that an English word even? To let the creativity, to ignite. ignite. That's the word I'm looking for, to ignite the creativity. Okay, so I paint on and wipe off. Let me move now to this side. So paint on. Once again, small sections at a time so that before the paint dries, you can wipe away. Also remember, all Chalkos products are water-based. So if you want to change anything, you can change. I can dry brush with my and, um, metallic colors on top of this again to maybe give more of a metallic feel. So I just move my cloth to a cleaner section to wipe away more of the chocolate color until I feel satisfied. I'm just going to work on one half for um, time constraints to make sure that I share everything. Okay. And the top section. from Switzerland and New York today. Oh, welcome. Welcome to sunny South Africa. Um, something that I really experienced during the journey of writing our book is that we live in a very special country um, where people are so eager to help and assist. And in the last page of our book, I'm not going to reveal too much. It just once again became clear to me that South Africa is the birth ground for choco, and if you open that choco jar, you will experience the love and the total passion within each and every jar. And most of the choco colors are named 
after our people. Um, so enjoy and welcome this special journey with us. So I paint on and wipe away. And where this technique actually is even more evident and beautiful are in all the crevices and detail. And if you want to stop there with your patina effect, you can absolutely stop there. Look how beautiful and amazing this looks. But I want to carry on and share more inspiration. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my stencil brushes and my mixed choco in the Elias's Epic and Nade. I'm going to dab my stencil brush in that and the reason I'm using a stencil brush is the fact that it has short stiff bristles so it actually creates nice texture once you dab it on a surface and I'm going to be playful some Elias's Epic over there some Elias's Epic over here so what it does it actually mutes the brass effect and now I'm going to incorporate some Nao's New, which is a warm teal color and more darker than Nade. And this is absolutely a playful event. No chemicals required to create a patina effect. Nothing is... Um, harsh to the environment, all Chocos products water-based. And I'm just being playful. Next, I'm dipping my stencil brush in some Nade just to create some texture and a lighter version of that patina effect. Elias is epic. And I do want that brass to come through here and there. So what I do is I just take my damp cloth and I wipe again certain sections again so that the sheen from the metallic color comes through. And then of course, go with your hands. Blend the colors, feel it, feel your creativity. There shouldn't be any limits to what you can create with Choco. And I'm going to play blend colors. So the moment you want to blend colors together, there you can see the texture that's left by the st stencil of Paris and the mix mixed with choco paint and if you want to blend those two colors together the nate and the Elias's epic you just dab 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 to create both texture a blending and then of course the patina look and feel and i'm dabbing playing wipe away while everything on top of her um, Am's rose gold is still wet to just reveal some shine here and there while I'm busy. Let's reveal some metallic over there. And here I want to blend more. Use your hands be part of the process and when I want to change something I will simply add some nate maybe in those crevices and detail just wipe dab choco has a building sealer so I wouldn't even afterwards have to glaze this unless you want to use it outside we also have an eco-friendly water-based sealant that makes the surface water resistant, UV resistant. And then you can use it outside. You apply it 
wait overnight rather wait overnight and the next day what we recommend is to mix three parts glaze with one part water and just with a damp a microfiber cloth wipe it on your surface but on our YouTube channel there are various videos that show and explain how it's done it's easy and it works like a charm okay, I'm just playing and then over here oh, lovely. I'm going to wipe blend everything together wipe for some brass to come through and there's a patina effect so easy so much fun here is one that I've done earlier today I've played around it's complete so you change color you change texture as you go until you feel satisfied and at the end, if you want to just highlight the crevices and detail, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a dry brush technique. So I make sure I have a dry cloth, a dry brush. I dip only the edge of my brush, the tips of the bristles in my nail. With my, on my dry cloth, I remove any excess. So it's actually such a dry brush and what I do very lightly gently I just brush over the surface and in different directions so that I just highlight some of the detail and here we have a beautiful Something that was new earlier today, very old and used, piece of, piece of joy. I hope that your week ahead is filled with joy, is filled with happiness. We are all destined to be happy. And the only person that can make sure that you are happy is yourself. So make sure to set, set a happy space for yourself. Be inspired after the session to create beautiful things around you and make those around you also to be happy to be in your presence have a lovely week ahead and i'm sending all of you in switzerland in europe and in my home um, parent company i i learned this week that uh, uh, our parent company and not mother company I've been saying mother company all my life after I've been reading our English book is parent company that my parent country from South Africa to all of you and to my fellow South Africans a happy week ahead bye